All right, we're, we're here to protest about the, the way that uh, both the UK government and the Scottish government have handled the uh, COVID crisis. Uh, we we'll look at other countries that, that have ignored the interests of big business, or at least have not put big business interests to the forefront of, um, of, of the crisis and have dealt with it in a more humane manner that has uh, resulted in far fewer deaths than we've seen in Scotland and in the UK, and in particular among the most vulnerable in society. We've seen horrendous deaths uh, among the elderly and vulnerable in care homes and indeed uh, in their own homes. And both the UK government and the Scottish government could have and should have and could still take a different path. I'm standing here in protest outside this building, which is about to be filled by the Westminster Tory government with its civil servants. I'm protesting because this is the Tory government which has failed us by not getting rid of the COVID-19 virus. They had the choice to get rid of the virus, but they chose instead to use the pandemic to further the interests of their cronies and their class rather than to keep us safe. Black people and people of colour have disproportionately been affected by this virus. No. What is zero COVID? Zero COVID is a tried and tested method of tackling epidemics. Other small countries like New Zealand, Vietnam and Norway used it successfully at the start of the epidemic. It consists of doing four simple things. A tight lockdown for a limited period, not relaxing the lockdown until a strong test and trace system has been put in place, managed isolation at all ports of entry, and full compensation and support for all, all those asked to isolate. Hi, um, I'm Pete Cannell. I'm active in the Scott E3 Employment, Energy and Environment campaign. I just want to say one or two words about why I'm here and the link between COVID and the climate crisis. Yeah, one of the reasons why we need zero COVID, I think, is that it's not simply about uh, reducing levels of the virus to a level that actually protects people's health, although that's a really key and first step. But it's also about finding ways of living that actually look to the future and they tackle both the threat of further pandemics and the climate crisis. So we need public transport that's designed in ways that are safe and that's perfectly possible. We need new zero carbon but well ventilated housing. We need to retrofit existing housing stock and there's a whole bunch of other practical method, methods that could actually make a really positive step towards tackling the climate crisis and making us safe against future pandemics. The Scottish Government must also bear the responsibility for the UK having the worst virus figures in Western Europe. If I could be in two places at once, I would have also been standing along the road outside the Scottish Parliament. The Scottish Government had the opportunity to end the epidemic in Scotland through the zero Covid method. It had it, in, it had it in its grasp. Instead, it didn't have the guts to stand up against Westminster. It relaxed the lockdown too soon, didn't monitor the borders and lost its chance. Over 20,000 people have died in care homes due to Covid-19. This is tragic. It's the fault of the Tory government that have squandered billions of pounds, given their cronies crap contracts to provide protective equipment that doesn't protect and track and trace and does not track and trace. I'm here today because there has been an absolute failure of this government. You can contrast the failure here to successes in Southeast Asia where they've kept COVID to virtually zero. What do we have here is absolute rampant coronavirus. We have a government determined to keep the profits of business up at our health expense. I think the other reason I'm here today is because what you've seen is the outsourcing of what should be NHS functions, should be public health functions, should be local authority functions and they've been handed over to the private sector billions of pounds 
without checking any of the contracts, without tendering, without any safeguards whatsoever. Our country's been privatised and our people are dying and it's this government's fault and I want to see a different alternative to what's being proposed anywhere else. So it's a zero Covid strategy, it's a strategy that does not punish ordinary people for the failures of this government. You say, put health before the economy, close it down, get it down and let's see what they do about carbon in the coming years as well because we want zero carbon and by the way we do not want any more cuts we do not want any more austerity that's why we're campaigning here and we'll be building from here onwards